All right. Uh, time for the final. We are facing uh, the XS down here. I'm just going to quickly uh, check with it what he's playing. It's one of the decks that I <coughs> haven't had much time looking into. That seems kind of aggressive. Carapest to Carlismir. Sandromancer. Yeah, that's a good one. Well, let's start this off and then go back and check what is we've got. This is a uh, keeper. He's playing first, and I've got uh, two uh, turn two drops. And now I've got Beast within as well. I'm not going to complain. So, let's start off with Golden Mira, and let's see here. Sand Romancer, Tango Hall. He's in a really tight spot here. So it's just random big guys. Uh, not much else. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and he's got a bunch of artifacts that I can finish off as well. <coughs> so this hand here. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, I'll reveal it. Yeah, that's fine. I'll just bash and be happy with it. I suppose that if his intention was to kill that anyways, then it's good. Trigon. Oh. That's a nice slice target. But... We'll start with Basher. Let's not get hasty. Uh, <coughs> okay, there's a nice one. That, that means that I will be able to bash through anything with the Death Skinner. I think this guy's got like skip tricks. I remember one of the of the decks having that, but I'm not sure which one. Anyways, I'm going to attack here. Uh, I suppose that was a little stupid. Um, let's see here. Should I do here? Uh, I should have played the Invisimansa before combat. No, nope, that was just stupid. Ah, uh, stupid, stupid, stupid. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Should I two for one myself, or give myself a three three? I suppose that's uh, the best at the moment. It, it uh, makes me have some board presence even after that horrible play and yeah it's um, 
I suppose it's still a two for one myself, but it at least I've got some board presents. I'd rather have this and remain keep my reaching might in hand. Seal call. Not fit seven. Mm -hmm. So, bash, play the school. to draw once. Uh, that doesn't do anything. Because that gradient draw makes that touch. It laughs in it laughs in your face. Set off doesn't do anything. He might stay back here because my back force is somewhat larger than this. Um, I think I'm just going to make my beast unblockable. Well, I could. Bash with the school as well. Uh, but I think that I I'd like to use the Legion by defensively. I'm not sure. <coughs> I mean if he's going to stay back with his the region claw spire monitor, then uh, not much is going to happen. And that is the only thing that he can attack with. So, he's out of cards in hand, which means that this is going to be a blowout, I know. He's not going to have much of anything left. Uh, plus one, minus one. None of these guys survive, block the end of my guys. <coughs> he, if he gets his Sertox online, that's annoying. But yeah, that's at least on turn away. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now we face a flying deck. So, just the strike. I'm going to add both of them. Um, cutting. What should I cut? I think that turbine might be a bit slow. Um, what's more? Bonds is not going to do a lot against him. Oh, this is good. This is really good. Uh, I think that I'm going not, I'm going to refrain from losing life to the spine proctor and just train Deathloop Cobra into spine proctor instead. I mean this survives at least some kind of locks. Uh, and yeah. I think that that but is just better. Transomite. Go ahead. Lifelink start on his part. I'm just going to block uh, a 
syntax. And then I can yeah. Then I can reach out with my cobra if need be. So this little puppy went to the market. He missed the land drop. My opponents have had that problem. All of them basically. Copper carapace. Hmm. Uh, let's see here. I'll just take it. Once I get. Throwing up into the game, such as I mean, I, I can I can reach need be. I mean, if he gets uh, an artifact, then I suppose that this attack will be kind of annoying. But next turn, I can piss the strike his scourge. No attacks at all. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to bash with everything, I think. Not even going to get flying here. It's a bit reckless, but. If I can just get Sky in School or Juggernaut down, then I think I should be able to ride on those to win. Okay. If I get a land. Yeah, I'm going to start to strike because it doesn't have any flyers in play. And next turn, Juggernaut, and hopefully the turn of the left, Gargantuan, should be a game. I feel a bit sorry for him not having hit his land drops, but I'm not going to. Yeah, here it up. So. Unfortunate for him, but I think that with the cards we have in play and that we draw, we would win against these, this kind of sort, anyways. So, yeah, uh, victory and hope you enjoyed it. Our opponent showed us a bunch of five drops called all the Lang Yeah, that was. He would, uh, he would, well, the next card was a land which wouldn't allow him to play blind uh, zealot, anyways. So, yeah, it was, it was a bad day for him.